All right, October 5th, I know I'm a week late, but we are getting spooky. We're gonna continue with Rise of Insanity. I will probably also do a little bit more of that Backrooms game. And then I'm gonna start Resident Evil 3 and hopefully be putting out videos at a pace that I can finish those. Some of those may be longer videos. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. Because it's a lot if I go. It's a lot of space and stuff if I go over an hour. We'll see. But we're going to start by continuing this game and also finishing uh, Song of Horror, which I really need to do. But I'm scared. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm Montezuma. Welcome to the YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, you should go back and watch the first video. And like and subscribe if you got nothing better to do. But you probably do. We're back. Now, if I remember correctly, we ended up having to go down to the basement. It's situated. I'm not used to being on the old mouse and keyboard. Normally, I have a controller in my hand. But I think I'm gonna like. I think the next Resident Evil I'm gonna play is three, because I haven't played that one. And then I'll uh, like. Don't start your shit, love. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome. I can't go in here yet, or I die. I'm pretty sure. I go upstairs? No, it's blocked off. I already came down here. What up, rats? I got a ducky. I thought I already got this. I hate how loud that thing squeaks. Up, in, in, down. Okay, don't know what that means. Uh, pictures of birds, all of us. Oh no, the rat died. I'm sorry, rat. That wasn't me. I didn't kill nobody's rat. Oh, another ink blot. I mean, that's not some sort of demon right there. Look at that thing. Some kid toys. Love that. No reflection because I'm a vampire. I already read this in the last one, I'm pretty sure. I'm looking for a fuse down here as well. I read that one already. No crouch. Um, there should be like a fuse down here somewhere. Aha! Oi! Assuming that means I can't go in that. There were pipes in here, if I recall. There were. Okay, look, and here's a little design. That makes sense. So the bottom one needs to be down, up, and in. Okay, that's easy. That's down. You go up. Is that not right? Apparently it's not. Maybe it's opposite? Let's try that. It was opposite. Okay. Yeah, get, get me out of here. That's the music on this bag. I can turn this up. Can you guys hear the spooky music? It's a spoopy. Yeah, turn the lights on so I can go in the living room and all that shit. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I just want to get in there. Alright, we've got the lights on. We're safe now. Spooky red light. What's this? Patient 
Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I establish that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Shock. Electroshock. Gets him every time. Gets him every time. Lobotomy. Always lobotomy. Okay. Stupid kids drawing stupid scary stuff. I would hit a kid for that. I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do here. Huh. Well, the game shall provide. Ask and you shall receive. Hello, police? Dad? Hello? Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. Uh oh, I think my game broke. That's not good. Okay. Someone's losing their minds or they're a really bad artists. Happens to the best of us. Daddy, I'm lost. I'm not your dad. I lost my figurines. Please find them for me. No. Your dad went to the gas station for a pack of cigarettes and never came back, and that's on you. You should have been a better son. Ain't got nothing to do with you, boy. Oh no, I see a figurine. Okay. No, it's an easy does it die. That thing's a freak. Nope. Nope. What is that? Stop. Okay, I was very clear. I can uninstall you, game. I said stop it. Okay, that door's not gonna open. Also, I've got it all blacked out in here with blankets, so it's... A little bit more dim and spooky. I'm not trying to do this in the middle of the day. I mean, it's the middle of the day, but... That looks like, uh... Lungs, or... Uterus, maybe? Something. Oh, what were you doing here, bud? It's got his little bed and his little jerk station with Syropex <laughs> and latex gloves. Oh! Little birdie. Little birdie action. It's on the crouch button. Can I move this? Like, is this a mental institution or storage for crying out? I don't like that door. Stay chained, please. So the figurine was only downstairs? There's only one figurine downstairs? Maybe there'll be one up here. Let's go investigate. That's elevator. It does not sound kosher. Back up in the lobby. Screw you, jacket. Scared the bejesus. Ooh, another tape recorder. Hopefully this, is this new stuff? Is this gonna be new stuff or old stuff? Dear Steven, analyzing your previous letters and observations, I believe that the problem is connected with smudge. Please give it some more thought. I am worried about you and your family. When I come back from smudge, I will visit you and we will talk. Abraham. Send your wife and child someplace to make sure they are safe. Mm, maybe too late for that. Patient Eddie, 41. Day. <laughs> Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams 
connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. Yeah, wait and observe while he murdulates. Stop it. Shut up. Where are the figurines? He's just getting intense. Picking right on up. Back up to 70. Were all the dolls downstairs and I'm just stupid? Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. I wanted to read the rest of the article. Woman gets jacked up. Kid gets murdered. Woman gets lippy. I could say it how Sean Connery said it. And if she gives you a little lip, show her the back of your hand. It's okay to make jokes about that now, because he died. I don't think I've ever been down here before. Registration? Probably should have done that first. How did I skip registration? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. And guess what, buddy? Breaking news! As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. I think that's probably me. Another ink blot. I don't know what that one is. Are those supposed to be scary? Because they're really not. Okay. Oh, shit. What's going on? Everything is lagging. I'm terrified. Why does the recording look like that? Stop it. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Let's check the settings real quick. Turn them down to medium. See if that does anything. Turn VSync off. Did not help in the slightest. I love that. Could be because I'm also uploading a video. That could be on me. Hopefully it, it corrects itself. Hey. Fuck you. <gasps> Anybody in here dropping it? Yeah, someone's in here taking a shit. Alright. That ducky noise is obnoxious. No, 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 no. Just give me my figurine, let me get the hell out of here. That's better. It was the anti-aliasing or something. Hopefully it's not like that all the time, but that should have fixed it right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. As the uh, greatest streamer slash recorder of all time would say. Uh, oh, yeah. I can probably, here, let's turn the graphics back up to high. Just real quick. See if that... Oh yeah, it's still smooth AF. It was the anti-aliasing. Although, I just am not a big fan of V-Sync. I don't even know what it does. But I always shut it off. Okay, so here's the thing. How many of these dolls was I... I think there were three dolls, weren't there? Can I go in this door? 
Let me in. Open sesame. Oh, there's a body back there. Hard pass from your boy. The light is out there swinging. What happened to all the music? All right, I'm missing one somewhere, I think. We're going to go back down. I don't think there's anything else up here. I went down the stairs. Woo! Well, 15 minutes, great. Oh, no elevator yet. So definitely what I need to do is still up here somewhere. Okay. Maybe we can go out the front door. Give me the out of here. Freedom. Oh, of course. Why wouldn't there be doorknobs? You know what I'm saying? That just makes sense. Maybe it was somewhere in registration and I missed it. Get with the old whiffy poo. Can I open cabinets? In the garbage, eh? It's probably where it belongs. Is there an inventory? Nope. I picked up two dolls. I think there were three total. That won't let me go back up. Where is it? I mean, as far as I can tell, that's all there is to discover. Interesting. Can't go through here. Those are the stairs back up. No buttons on these elevators. Interesting, huh? Don't rightly know where to go, love. I wish you could point me in the right direction. A little hinty poo or something like that. Like I said, definitely something dead in there. I'm probably like staring at what I need to find and just failing miserably. Happens to me quite a bit. Come on, let me go down. Let me take the elevator. You bastard. I mean, there's literally nothing left for me to find. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Interesting. Yeah, when I come through there, I hear that. But it, it doesn't mean anything to me. Right? Like... Hmm. There's no jump button. I'm not going to solve any puzzles of uh, that away. Come on. Hmm. I don't know. I am at a loss. Same set of papers upstairs as downstairs. I mean, the only place I can think of that it still has something unchecked is that registration area. Maybe I'm supposed to open drawers or something. I need to go back there and clean up after myself because <laughs> I left everything just hanging open like an a like an animal come on let me in here all right I guess we have to check back down there I mean I don't know where else to go oh boy I'll tell you what now this is content right here 
Watch me change my settings, eh? Then you can watch me uh, run around down here for no reason. Come on. What's this? The radio came on in here. Can't open any cabinets. Nothing on this desk. I already checked out this stupid ink blot. Nothing here. Oh, oh, oh touching my tra la la. Oh, 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 my ding ding dong. No, 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 not like this. Get on the table, get under the table, do something. I'll just wait here. I'm not scared. This is why your fucking dad left. That's all I've got to say about it. Get me out of here. Ah! It's raining blood! Am I dead? The sounds go from like too quiet to terrifyingly loud way too qu I'm, Oh, I'm in a chair. Please, not like this. Alright, slow down now. Let me fly on the birdie. That was almost a collision. Sounds like a Scooby Doo chasing. What's the Scooby Doo coming after you? Gonna solve that mystery. <laughs> now it's less like that. Oh, I can control the speed a little bit. My birdie again. I'm not answering the phone this time until I look at everything. Last time there was something on the table and I couldn't look at it because I answered the phone and it was the end of the level. Thank you, honey. But why? Because I said so, that's why. Okay, so this is dark for me. I know it's dark for y'all. Hey, a light. Can you guys see? When I put this on YouTube, it will be like way darker. So, I guess that kind of makes. Am I back out here in the same spot? The fuck? Nah, your boy's good, cuz. Somewhere else, please. What's this game? Gonna solve that. It's getting jerky again. Stop that. Oh, look, a little toy mouse. Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to restrain myself. When I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us together with cold steel in your bowels. I look at your beautiful eyes, glazed with tears, and your life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips, Eddie. Okay, you sick pup. Oh, I got me some duct tape. Give me them scissors, too. Call me Edward Scissorhands, baby. <laughs> you game. this oh last time there was the guy with the shovel well hopefully this duct tape is gonna help me otherwise I don't know what the hell I'm doing all right maybe I can open this van I can't Light, they don't like light, I guess. I've got a light on. Oh, this doesn't end well for me. Oh, I died, I'm pretty sure. 
I don't think that was supposed to happen. All right, let's go get the, the duct tape. Hey, you're not gonna jump scare me this time, you goof dick. I already read that. You can hear him breathing. You're not gonna get me. Boy, I already knew you was coming. So we don't like the shovel guy. I don't know if I enjoy this game. Like, the jump scares are okay, but like... I mean, what am I supposed to get out of this? Maybe I can go around to the driver's side and uh, spook him that way. Oh, I can open the back. Absolutely nothing in here worth having. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, that's right. Going to get, son. My headlamp just didn't have the strength. I had to put some headlights on the motherfucker. Gotcha. I'm not gonna get that yet. City news. Dead boy buried in garden. As a, result of, as a result of an ongoing investigation, the police have found the body of Theodore Dowell, the son of well-known psychologist, was murdered and buried in a greenhouse on the premises by gardener Edward S. I'm assuming I'm Edward. Or something stupid like that. Uh, the phone's gonna ring. Good, give me... Wait, I want to get this thing out of the hole first. The same toy mouse that was in the other room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come for me, please. Mom is lying here. She is so cold. She did, cuz. And I don't know who you're calling, cuz dad's at the gas station for the past three to five, getting those cigarettes. She tastes like cigarettes, Lieutenant Diane. Window, little dude. I'm not turning it off this time. Okay. Yeah, because it really sounds like it's behind you. Okay, I can go upstairs now. Oh, yay! New areas to exp explore. Yay, I love that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Famous psychologist accused by the Committee of Ethics. The experimental method of treating severe psychological disorders developed by Dr. Stephen Dowell has been raising controversy for a long time. After sessions conducted at the doctors, the condition of patients significantly deteriorate, yet Dr. Dowell is convinced of the procedure's correctness. The main association of psychologists has conducted interviews and among people examined with the use of Dowell's films, the investigation led to a former patient who has committed suicide following his experimental sessions. The young girl threw herself under a speeding train. What a terrible way to kill yourself. The psychologist treating her is known to have hidden all traces and methods leading to the patient. The doctor has even gone so, as far as falsifying the autopsy files to avoid consequences. The Medical Ethics Committee has put Dowell's right to exercise the profession at stake, and the injured family has announced legal proceedings. Good lord. Uh, can I click on that? I see there's a recording. Maybe I can go around? Oh, I gotta go in here and around. Okay. So none of these doors yet. Memory, 1942. But I'm more afraid of that mem- More afraid that memory may return. Oh, I should've- There was one of those in the basement and I didn't pick it up. I don't like to miss collectibles. Music is much louder now. Uh, 
ancient uh, data today is 28th of March. <laughs> March. March. No, 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 no. Weird case. Weird case only. Only experimental methods. Only experimental. <laughs> no. Why him? <laughs> Why him? I don't know. I don't know. Weird case. Weird. Weird case. Okay, Doctor's starting to lose it as well. Oh, this game's getting a little laggy here. I don't know why. Stop it! Alright, remember there was an open window with the birdies and then there was a shadow man. So let's be real cautious here. Get me to the phone, I'm scared. Get me out of here. It, it's like you pick it up. I can only hear it in my right ear. I do enjoy that. I think that was a nice little touch. I don't know how often that's done in games. Uh, excuse me? On Monday, Eddie was born. Okay, get me out of here. Go. Forward, Eddie. On Friday, he had a family on his own. And Wednesday, his dreams did not allow him to sleep. What so is happening? Day, he visited the doctor to confess so weak. Oh. Friday night, he Everything's did what collapsing the around me. told him to do. Everything's Saturday, collapsing around me. He did not have his family. He did the Oh no, the floor! Not the floor! The Sunday morning, he slept dull. The doctor was right. Nightmares have gone. Well, that's bright. People on YouTube will be able to see this just fine. Fuck you. There's that creepy lad with the bird mask. All right. Let's see what we've got. Stop it. I got to go this way. I'm going wide left. What's this? Some sort of helmet? Can I put it on? That'd be sick. Oh, there we go. Something to pick up. Theodore is a very talented child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. Only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something. Nothing to be worried about. I've read that before. Get me out of here. I'm done with this place. Yeah. Gain control over you. Control you. <laughs> okay. It's fucked up. Where is the border between dream and reality? What is our life? Is it what is dreamt or what we have or what we or that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan. What would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Okay, psycho. 
I know that's supposed to be cryptic, but really it just doesn't make sense. It's kind of stupid. Yeah, yeah, me too, baby. Let's do it. Oh, you punk. Let me leap to my death. That's all I want. I just want it to be over. Oh, you. And I haven't gone. Oh, I'm in a new place. Oh. Okay, I'm stuck on this bridge. There's no jump button. Hey. How do I get out of here? Oh, a ducky. Hi, ducky. I've been widescreened. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Oh, okay, I am. Oh, my god, I was just looking at the ground, I guess. I thought this was loading. Nope. What a dummy I am. <laughs> what happens if I just go around it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, we're back in the house. Okay. Steven, can I get into the bathroom for a while? No, you punk bitch. You can't get in the bathroom. Yeah, give me that knife. Oh, that's too bad. Kind of ominous based off of what he said before. Yeah, I can't just fuck you, Thunder. You can suck my dick. Pictures are all just smeared swirls. Good God. Nice little vanity. Oh, with the weird little things. 4 5 1975. Due to many responsibilities, I don't have time to take care of our garden. I have asked Steven to help me, to hire someone to help, at least that much he can offer. That's all I can ask for. 4 6 1975. I can't stand these maniacal attempts to make a genius of our child. Even is out of line. Taking our child to hospital and testing him with his mental development methods is a sick bag. Sometimes, I think that this marriage is a big mistake. Big mistake. I will drive Teddy to his grandma. He could use a little break from his father. Yeah, you should have done that sooner. Psychology, elements, methods, history. There was something here. There was something there. Interesting. Interessant. Once again, we can't go upstairs. This game is definitely like the way it orients you on a level. It's interesting. Is it a towel from the bedroom? I forgot about it completely. Uh, what if I don't want to, Brad? What if I'm here to see boobies? Then a towel would be counterproductive, don't you think? It's locked, huh? There's no towel in here. is the bedroom yeah there it showed through what a tiny little towel you know what we're still gonna see boobies if that's the only towel we're giving her that's a hand towel what's this not something I can no stop it all right all right I don't want to see dead boobies. 
วันนี้แล้วอ oh, yeah, let me walk in the glass. Call me John McClain, baby. I have mixed feeling about our relations. Steven is my employer. Oh, hold on. I have mixed feelings about our relations. Steven is my employer, and I owe him a lot. I know this is not a discussion to be held through a letter. Let's meet in the garden in two days, the usual spot. Edward. Oh, he was plowing the wife. Or I was. Good on you, Edward. This is making it seem like really the doctor probably did it and it got blamed on this poor gardener when he was just trying to get some poon. Get me out of here. I'm staying at my parents' house with Teddy tonight. Okay. You don't have to say it's so mean. Back here again. 41 minutes. There can't be much more to this game if this is all it's going to be is loops. Dearest Abraham, thank you so much for sending me Dr. Alfred Benet's publication about the verification of children's IQ. Thanks to it, I have come up with a great idea. I will not let you in on the details yet. I do not want to jinx it. All I can say is that it will be connected with increasing the IQ of very small children in the initial part of their mental development. It will be revolutionary. Imagine this. Intellectual elites developed from the earliest age to advance our world and science. The mankind may witness great discoveries thanks to my research. Greetings, Joseph. I don't like it here. <laughs> Go check in here this time. Check all this out again. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, this is different. There's a weight thing in front of the... Can I go in here this time? I can! Oh, enchanté, huh? Why are these boxes locked? Ooh, fuck that. Okay, hold on. Let's listen to the recording first. Research theme. The test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research, Theodore Dowell. The subject of the, the research. first attempts to increase IQ, I started using suggestion and manipulation method during REM sleep. The subject handled the experiment very well. I began the observation and started the manual visual tests phase. So you're experimenting on your own kid. At least do it on someone else's kid first. This game only has 14 achievements, so there can't be too much more to it, I'm assuming. We're just getting close to our hour. Oh, the elevator door is open, inviting us down. Down. We'll go hang out with Dahmer. Did you know he's all the way down in the boiler room of hell? Oh, maybe. But probably. Morgue, baby. Yeah, I've been here and I've done this. Looks broken. Oh shit. Better fix that. Hey, quit it. Quit your shit. Alright. It's another jerking station. Alright, we'll French with that in a minute. Give me a hammer, dude. How oh, this guy doesn't have a weapon in hand. Oh, yeah, a light bulb. You know your boy needed that. I think that's how I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, if you just leave me alone, I'll pay you good money. Come on, I paid you 50 bucks. I just like to take photographs. 
I didn't strangle that kid. So they're all back off. Let's see. That does you two. That one only lights the one. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, a key. Now I can open those chests. A wheat. Yeah, you're real scary. Not anymore, you're not, because I've got a light bulb, don't I? Hey, this right. Get me that gaddy. Well, I have to go down to the morgue for that. Couldn't you put the key in our office desk like a normal person? Why are you going to put it in an evil, an evil clown machine? It doesn't make any sense. Why would the key be there? This elevator sounds worse and worse every time I get on it. That's the scariest part of this shit. I hate elevators. No. Dear Abraham, it's all gone to hell my entire- I gotta read quick because the phone's ringing. Oh, but everything is based on suggestion and an attempt to manipulate dreams in the REM phase. I was testing it on my son, Teddy. I thought it would not be harmful, that I had nothing to lose. On the contrary, I would be the first one to form the- I would be the first one to form the first genius in the family created with this method. His marks at school are higher, indeed, but he lacks empathy, and he has started to be afraid of the darkness. My wife forbade me to continue my research. Why did I even attempt to try this on my son? Thank you. I am abandoning this project and sending your materials back. Thank you for them. I will not need them anymore. P.S. I might have an interesting patient soon. Regards, Stephen. So that was... Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> oh no. Not like this. Oh, please let me out of here. Ooh, this gives me goosebumps. I think I just got got. I must have done something wrong. Ugh. My heart. It was facing me this way. I need to break this cycle somehow. Yeah, kill yourself. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Listen, buddy. You're having a bad time right now. So we've literally only gone to like the same three areas and they're just... Oh, my game is doing the horrible recording again. It must be all the flowers. Uh, it's still terrible. Why does that happen? I wonder. It's better now. It was definitely all the flowers. I don't know. Maybe... I don't know why it would matter to the recording, but apparently it does. It's not like I'm... streaming this and it's gotta, like, keep up with the textures and stuff. It just has to record it. That's alright. We'll take her slow. That's terrible. Terrible looking. My apologies to anyone watching this. Oh my goodness. But it did okay in like the white. Yeah, it's like the brightness is whatever. It is what it is. Was that a deer? 
Oh. Okay. There we go. Maybe it was all the movement. Am I going to heaven? Or am I going to the gas station where dad went? Dad, come home. Dad. It seems like. Oh no, a picnic. Not like this. I loved her. And I killed her. Here we go. Oh, 9-11 of 1976. The strange sessions with Teddy have allowed... With Teddy have allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband so strongly desired. Is a toxic father-son relation worth it? Teddy is no longer as happy as he had been before. He had become very afraid of the darkness. On the other hand, this is normal at his age. I truly don't know. I can only rely on Eddie, but he seems strange recently. 9-13 of 1976. I've been trying to improve my marriage, but the complete lack of Stephen's interest is just killing me. He is constantly talking about his new treatment method. I feel imprisoned in this relationship. I cannot see any future for it. I know it's a bit reckless, but I'm beginning to feel freer with Eddie. I, I enjoy the interest that only he is giving me. Okay, maybe your husband knows you're a cheating prostitute. How about that? Fucking. Okay. Like, that's on you. Why would you be interested in someone who's sleeping with a gardener? Don't cheat. Um, cheating's bad, folks. I should still do something here. Uh, or not. How about I'm good? I read your stupid letter. But you told me that I was going to break the cycle. Let me break it. There's nothing else that I want to do here. Oh. Recording's freaking out again. Love that. Love it. Love it. Quality. Quality. This is what I'm saying. Mediocre content. Don't expect a lot here. Not even quality recordings. What else should I be doing here? Yeah, it's all very lovely. But there's like nothing that I can see that should be picked up or used in any way. And every time I come in here, my computer has a fit and everything gets all jerky. I don't want to stay here. Huh. I feel like this is the end of the game. I just don't know what exactly is required of me. Let's look at the ground. If I look at the ground, I won't be so jerky. It's not. <laughs> I mean, it's still a little jerky, but it's not as bad as it could be. Alright, I'll go back to that other thing, because I don't think we picked anything up over there. I think we read something, but that was it. Look, it stopped doing it. Maybe it's just random. I don't know. But I need the saw? The scissors? I already have the mouse. Nothing here. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing else for me to do. So that was a lie. So that was a lie. Nothing on these benches. Okay. I can't go past the car now because of the way it's parked. Buried the kid in the garden, right? Do I need an oar? 
Maybe it's still in that back area and I just backtracked for no reason. I do enjoy, like I said, mediocre. At best, on a good day, mediocre. Hmm. I don't know, man. That was a nice little babbling brook. It's so peaceful. At least it's not scary anymore. I wonder if there's a way that I can get up there. Like loop around back here and get up above. Because here we are at the finish. What? What should I do? Swing on the swing? Is that it? I swear, if it's swing on the swing, I'm going to pitch a fit. Oh! The oar! Haha! -ha! See, like I said, it was probably right there, and I missed it because I'm literally the worst. Water's awfully clear. I think I'm going to see Jesus. Is that you, old chap? I was just trying to get it right out an hour. Oh, no, it's not over. Got a pile of books Therapy here. Therapy increasing the intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. Oh, okay. There's a note on top. Teddy's birth. Oh, 8-17-1973. Teddy's birthday was great. The party was held in our garden. All the dishes and desserts were made from the fruits that we picked there. The only thing that's got me worried was that Stephen took an active interest in Teddy's mental development. He's only three and his father is already forcing him to learn to read. I have to talk to him. I learned to read when I was three. And I love reading. <laughs> Happy. Just for a while. Not well. I couldn't like read, but I started learning. Did I read this? The strange sisters have nothing undesired. Yeah, that's. I just read that one in the last area. Can I swing, please? But I'm telling you, for stupid people like me, they need to just put on the sign like, yo. The subject handled the experiment very well. Experiment very well. So there was more than one machine. I must have missed something. I must have missed them somewhere. Oh, judgment. Oh, you don't love to see that. Are you by open the trial? Judge me then. What oh, door? Never mind, don't judge me. I'm getting. Oh, what's that? The Breed and Birds Taxidermy. Breeding Birds and Bird Taxidermy by Richard Birdman. <laughs> All the best on your seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Steven. Dad. Yep, you're Steven. That's... I was right. We're the doctor, not Eddie. Wait, no, I was wrong then, because I said we were Eddie. Whatever. And I'm in prison. Feels right. Why would they let me out? Doesn't seem very smart. I am a psycho murderer. Ooh, the phone.
Interrogation Protocol 34-125-86 In the case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell, Edward Dirtier. After many attempts to make contact with the suspect, we still not have any information. The accused is constantly smiling and indistinctly repeating a sentence that reads, The nightmares have stopped. His gaze is absent. He does not maintain eye contact with the uh, interlocutor. I don't know what that is. He probably does not make anything of the position that he is in. Without the presence of a forensic psychologist, we are not able to obtain more information. It is assumed that the case will be closed with an insanity plea. Interesting. Oh, another ink blot test. Oh, that one's spooky looking. What's the point in that? Okay, we got some desks. That picture looks super grabbable. Let's go straight to the text. Interrogation Protocol 517, 1977. In the case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell, witness Stephen Dowell. The interrogation is conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson. The suspect is shocked. There is no rational contact with him. It is understandable in his position. He hasn't said anything new. After the murder, there were many different comments from the psychology world in the press. The witness has only mentioned that, this, that his therapy for curing a mental split disorder had been very ineffective. He hasn't commented on that. How am I supposed to spin this? Oh, oh, that. So I gotta find a combination? Beep, beep. This one may go for more than an hour because we gotta be right at the end. One dot dash dash dash. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me, right? What the French is this, Toast? Alright, you piece of caca. Dot, dot. The last one was dash, dash, dot, dot, dot. So I'm pretty sure it's dot, 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 dash, dash. I don't know. I could be really dumb. Oh, they're all supposed to be five? Shit. Dash, dash, dot, dot, dot is the last one. I'm almost positive. So seven is the last one. That was dot, 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 dash, dash. That was dot dot dash dash dash. One more time. Okay. So the first one is dot 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 dash dash, so three. And the middle one is uh, dot dot dash dash dash. Where's that at? Two, so three, two, seven. Do you actually have to know how to use one of these? Sweet Jesus. You got really Morse code? Is that how we're doing this now? Get me to the phone. I'm ready to be done with this game. <laughs> like, what the French test? Good. So oh, maybe you would no. tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? 
can you hear me? It's better now, isn't it? So, can we continue? Great. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? Oh, God. She was preggers? Interrogation Protocol 516-1977. In the case of the murder of Susan Dow and Theodore Dow, suspect Edward Blurry. The interrogation is conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson and forensic sci psychologist Mrs. Vanessa Green. Thanks to Mrs. Vanessa, we have managed to come into contact with the suspect. It has been established that he is single. He worked as a gardener for the Dow family. He said that for the last months, he had been taking part in a therapy and then it would it was secure from him, cure him from his split personality disorder. He admitted that he had killed his wife and child, but as he emphasized, he had done it in his dream because Dr. Dowell had told him to do so. It had been part of his therapy. We have finally figured it out. It is necessary to speak with Dr. Dowell. John, I know that tomorrow is Bowman shift, so I've hidden the key for the door switches in a safe place. Don't tell him anything. Let's drive him nuts for a while. Now, you drove somebody nuts for a while. Me. What's that? A little yellow light in there? What for? I should be able to get out of here now. Am I right? There's the interrogation room, and here's the room with the phone. Nope, nothing yet. So I gotta go back the other way? Every time I think this is about over, it's not. I already went in there. Wait, what was the key for? I'm gonna go look at the note again and see what the key was for. God, I'm dumb. I missed the most important part of that. I've hidden the key for the door switches. Okay, right here, literally in front of me. I'm literally the worst. There it is. There it is. Get me out of here. Yeah, that's fine. Let's be done with Listen, this. Bowman, give me some creeps, doctor. I won't manage alone. I thought I had broken the cycle. Mind power. June issue. The examination conducted by Dr. Maslow's team should not be taken into consideration during the investigation. Dr. Maslow could influence the examination in order to help his friend, Dr. Bandura says. Dr. Dow was known for his controversial methods of treatment, and and that is in fact, in the past, he probably led to a patient's death, he adds. And that is, and the is fact, oh, the fact is that, okay, so it was just messed up, okay. Somebody needs to fire that magazine's editor. Oh, Judgment Day. I hereby oh, open the trial against Edward Hill about Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Do the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial is started? I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. Nutty. Interrogation Protocol 521-1977. In the case of the murder of Susan Dow and Theodore Dow, suspect Stephen Dow would change. He's suspect now. The interrogation is conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson and Forensic Psychologist Mr. Richard Jackson. After the appearance of new evidence, which is Susan Dow's autopsy protocol, we have come to know that she was in the first month of pregnancy. Furthermore, the father of the child is suspect, Edward. We have established that Stephen had a motive and the skills to manipulate Edward. During interrogation, the suspect showed lack of contact with the interlocutors. I don't know what that word means. He experienced ambivalent states from hysteria attacks to complete apathy. During interrogation, the comp accompanying psychologist came up with a thesis about Dr. Dow's insanity, which might have been caused by many traumatic experiences by many traumatic experiences in a short period of time. Interesting. In I opened the trial against Stephen Dowell about malpractice against Edward Hurley, who caused Susan and Theodore Dowell's death. Did the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? 
My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, Your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide. And did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant, not with him, but with Edward? We picked all this up from context clues. Why are we? Is this the same one? Yes. Same one. The phone's ringing. Yeah, man. Oh, what's this? Okay, we're gonna read this first. June issue. The tragic events from my friend's past had a very bad influence on his mental health condition, says Dr. Abraham Maslow, friend of the accused, suspect of manipulating Dr. Stephen Dow, which in turn has led him to murder his family. I deny the rumor saying that Stephen pretended to have a mental incompetence. I have examined him. He was also examined by other psychologists and psychiatrists who were strange to him. Dr. Maslow adds. Strangers to him, I'm assuming. Good lord. It's definitely an indie game. Uh oh, deadline. Not good. The longest all goes an hour and a half. So if we don't make it to the end by then, then you know it is what it is. We'll have another tiny little episode. Why would they let me have all this? And a pencil sharpener to boot? It's got like razor blades in it, doesn't it? It's my life now. Steven, oh. can I see you in my office? I'm allowed to leave? I'm allowed to just walk around? So that must be his office. But let's investigate. Who just leaves a TV on static like that? That means the people that work here are insane. They're just insane. What am I looking for here? I'm in your office, big dog. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child was strangled during sleep. The father of the family is the one responsible for the commission of all these horrible acts. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling today? Everything's okay? I think it's time to show you something. Mm. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. You're not my dad. My dad left to get cigarettes when I was little and didn't come back. You don't tell me where to go sit down. But I'm going to do it because I want to. I don't know if I want to see this. Our relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a kind of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head, so perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive, and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming, or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. Similar situations repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie his second personality, to feel 
happy, just for a while, to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we all... He was together. both people. Today, okay, that's a good I twist. Talked with Eddie. I should have seen he that coming. very bad condition. Steven's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. Silence is ominous. Uh oh. Hey, I'm on the roof. 1408. No thanks. I literally can't go in here. Hey, give me my ducky. What am I supposed to do here? Not going to heaven this time, boys. I thought we had broken the loop. <laughs> Can I go now, please? Thank you. Oof, that gave me goosebumps. I didn't like that laughter. Thank you. Jack and eight. Get me out of here. <laughs> oh no. Well, I'll turn that down so I can do my outro because I think that's that. Whoa! That's a good way to start it off. We finished a spooky game. I'm glad I pushed through and finished in this episode because a 20 minute video on the end here to finish the game would have been annoying. Um, so I'm glad we got her done. Um, ah, it was interesting. I'll say that much about it. There were some good jump scares. Uh, but hey, that's going to be it for me. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. Later, taters. Oh, there's going to be more spooky coming soon. Hoping to do some Resident Evil as well. So we'll jump on into that. Have a good one.